This is the installation of the Yamaha top rack or luggage rack for the Tenray 700. It's a very, very durable made rack. It weighs 13 pounds, or almost six kilogram, including the hardware. It is fabricated out of three quarter and seven eight inch tubing and has three little tabs on the top that are made to fit the original Yamaha top case. But the Yamaha top case is made by GV in Europe and so will also fit the GV cases. There are two cylindrical shaped tabs in the front of the flat area and a large wedge shaped tab in the back and those are for fastening the top case. Those three tabs can of course be unbolted if you're not using a Yamaha or a GV top case. You need the following tools to install the original Yamaha top rack, luggage rack, rear rack to the Tenray 700 motorcycle. You need a socket wrench and socket wrench extensions, a T40 socket in order to remove the little aluminum tie downs, and a 6mm Allen socket in order to remove the foot peg holders. And then in order to install it, you use the same 6mm Allen socket and the 10mm socket and a 10mm open box and wrench. And in order to get all the bolts to the correct torque, of course you need the ever-present torque wrench. It's a good idea to try to use the tools that you have on your bike if you have an extended tool set that you use for long-term travel so you know that all the tools work and you kind of and try to use the torque or the socket wrench that you have if you have one on board and the torque wrench in combination when you're in your shop or in your yard or whatever and just try to get the correct feel of how much force you need on the different bolts the larger bolts can take a lot of force the smaller ones, we have a lot of small 5mm bolts on the bike and they don't take that much to break. So just be aware of that. The first part is to remove the hold down little brackets next to the rear seat and you need a T40 socket in order to do so. four of those brackets. The next part is to remove this bracket, the rear foot peg bracket, in order to insert a secondary bracket in between the foot peg holder and the frame. So use a 6mm Allen wrench to do that. So the kit 
comes with the new bolts they are a tiny bit longer than the original bolts maybe like five millimeters longer and you reuse the existing washers it actually if you want to be a little picky it would have been nice if they uh, included a set of black washers it doesn't really matter that it's kind of hidden out of the way but still a pair of black washer would have been nice it wouldn't cost that much so this is this is what it'll look like As you can see with on this bracket, the bracket is matte, but where it's uh, connected to the luggage rack, it's kind of semi-gloss. And it was the same with the main stand when I installed it, and I don't know why they did it like that. But at least it shows attention to detail. This bracket is tightened down to fit 15 foot pounds of torque or 14.7. Uh, and per usual, stop after the first click. So now we're mounting the luggage carrier itself. The top of the rack. They are fastened by four 8 by 70 millimeter bolts. And the left hand side have these little spacers. And the right hand side, those spacers are already pre welded onto the rack. Just start the threads a couple of turns before you insert the bolts on the opposite side. Then you still have a little wiggle room. And the fit and finish is pretty good on this. Everything just bolts up and everything aligns. And then you can go back to snug it up before you torque it. At the bottom of the front of the rack, there are four bolts, small bolts to be installed. That it connects to the bracket that was installed between the foot peg holder and the frame. And it's the same on both sides. 
there's two bolts per side. And they're supposed to be tightened up to about eight foot pounds of torque. And that is not very much at all. And per usual, always stop at the first click. And it's tight enough. So the last piece left is to torque all the bolts. And it's supposed to be, well, <laughs> the instruction says 14.7 foot pounds. With 14.7, that's when the people who translate the instructions, they go from the metric through the imperial system and they're a little bit too diligent so instead of just saying 15 they say 14.7 this is a little on the funny side it torque bolts if a bolt is dirty rust corroded then it takes less torque to get the torque setting. So the torque numbers are always on a clean and usually a lubricated bolt, not a dirty corroded bolt. So always keep that in mind. And that's it. That's the original Yamaha Tenere 700 rack. And it's a pretty sturdy rack and one of the Big benefits with this rack is this grab handle that you go off when or if you go off in the, out in the rough, this, this might help you. So this concludes the installation of the original Yamaha rear rack, top rack, luggage rack, depending on which catalog you're looking at, on the Yamaha Tenere 700. Most of the accessories for the Tenere 700, they are built in Europe, neither France, Italy or Spain. I believe this one was Italy, but I might be wrong. The reason being is because the adventure bike is in a European style motorcycle that was got popularized during the Paris Dakar rallies that started back in the 1980s and where Yamaha won the two first races. Please subscribe, more videos to follow about accessories and on trips. Thanks for watching.